Hey YouTube, how's it going? I have myself here a Troy Built 625 series. I do have the self-propelled lawnmower model here. And the issue with mine is it'll turn on for a couple of seconds and it'll turn straight off. I would show you guys what it sounds like, but there's currently no gas inside the engine. So I don't want to fill it up and then have a big mess with gasoline going all over the place when I'm trying to take off the carburetor, which is right here. So I'm going to go ahead and show you guys how to take the carburetor out, clean it up, and then we'll put it back in and we'll go ahead and try it out just to see if it's working. Thank you very much for watching my video. Stick tuned to the very end. I hope you guys attain some value from this. Give me a thumbs up. Subscribe if this is your first time and I hope you enjoy. So the first thing we want to do is remove the air filter. It's pretty much just held by a little screw here on the side. You just want to take that screw, it'll pop right off, and you see you have the air filter right there, and you could replace that bad boy. Or in my case, I just went ahead and took my air compressor and just blew that out. Next, we're going to be in the, the air filter box right here, and that's held by two screws right here. There's one right here, one right there. What I'm using is a number eight to move that out. So let me go ahead and take that out and then I'll come back. So okay, I removed the air filter box there and there was actually a third screw right up here. So there was the one, two, and there was a third one up here. And again, that was still the, the number eight that I took it off with. Next, we're gonna go ahead and right here, this is the actual carburetor and it looks really dirty. So we're gonna clean that up. Next, you wanna remove any type of, you wanna remove the, the gasoline hose that goes into the carburetor there. Go ahead and take a look at that and it's just held by a clip here it's really dirty but that's all it is you just want to unclip that move that to the side and if you do have oil gasoline i don't know why i keep saying oil but if you do have gasoline you might want to just plug that up here at the, the end of the hose or or use some kind of a clamp and clamp that up but be careful if you have an older hose you don't want to tear that hose and now you've got to buy yourself another hose so let me go ahead and take that hose off and we'll go ahead and remove these bolts back here as well and then I'll go ahead and come back on all right all right so went ahead and took the carburetor out this is what it looks like when it's out and there was just two screws that uh, bolts that were holding it up I went ahead and used a 3 8 to take those bolts out so those are located right here and remove this hose here right here and right over here once you take those two, two off, it'll come out. And, and be careful with this hose. I forgot to mention, when you unplug this from the actual carburetor itself, there's going to be a little bit of gasoline in there, so you might get a, make a little mess there, but uh, you'll be, it won't be too much. Oh, you see? There won't be too much in there that you can't clean up. So let's go ahead and uh, clean this carburetor up. And all I'm going to clean is, so I'm just going to take this little bolt off down here, little screw down here, um, just kind of blow in here with the, the air compressor. And we should be good. Just blow up here with the air compressor, just clean it up and we should be all right, all right? All right, so went ahead and took my carburetor apart and, and really what's holding it is again, that little screw in the bottom. Once you take that off, you just pull the two parts off. You just pull them apart and you see that it's collected water and there's some dirt in there as well. So that really does prevent your carburetor from working good. So I'm just gonna dump all this mixture of gas and water out and clean that the dirt around here. Again, air, give it a little air compressor and we should be good to go and we'll go ahead and give it a go, all right? Okay everyone, so I went ahead and cleaned out the carburetor. So you can see no water in there. Um, I went ahead and used this carb cleaner from O'Reilly's, it's pretty good. Went ahead and just kind of sprayed all the inside, the outside. Also the little bolt here. There's a little hole there. See if I can maybe get in there. That little hole I sprayed in there. I also used my air compressor all, all over this bad boy here. And I'm going to go ahead and put everything back together. So again, you just want to put that together. And then just screw in the bolt back here. Okay, so I'm just going to go ahead and put this bad boy back together. And I'll go ahead and put some gasoline in my lawnmower and we'll go ahead and see if it, it starts or not. Alright everyone, so the moment of truth. 
see if this lawnmower still works or if it's something else. So as you can see, I attached the, the carburetor back on. Remember it was two bolts over here. Then we put the, the air box in, that was three bolts. And then we put the air filter back in, that's one bolt there. So you wanna make sure you have your spark plug connector onto your spark plug. You wanna give it a couple of pump, three pumps, extra pumps for good luck. And let's see if this bad boy goes. All right, so in conclusion, it was just a dirty carburetor, guys. That's usually it with these type of models here. If it's not the carburetor itself that was over here, it's probably a bad spark plug. If it's either, uh, if it's not any of those two, it might be an electrical problem, I'm guessing. I'm not too sure. But if I ever get to that point, I'll make a video. But again, thank you guys very much for watching my video. You guys or ladies attain some value. Please give me a thumbs up and subscribe. I'll probably be bringing us a video soon on how to fix the battery off of this Ryobi 48 volt here. So thank you guys again very, very much. I appreciate you stopping by and you have yourself a great rest of your day there.